Hi, welcome to Art Time with Melissa. Pick a color. Y-E-L-L-O-W. Let's see, pick seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, let's see. Let's go with Fortune 2. One day a taco will rule the world. Oh, we better watch out. We're gonna make fortune tellers today. This is one one of my students made for me as a gift, and I love it. Now there's a lot of options with fortune tellers. You could make them so that they actually tell your fortunes, or so that they are a puppet. Hi. Which one will you make today? Or will you make one of each? Let's jump right into it. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I don't have any origami paper, so I'm going to make some paper to be the right shape. So I'm going to fold this over until the edge meets, and it's like a giant triangle, and then I'm going to cut off the extra. The extra is great for scraps. You could even make it into bookmark. Ooh, the wind is howling today. It's amazing how loud it gets. All right. So now that I have this and I have one fold, I'm gonna start by folding this corner up to the other corner. Origami is all about training the paper by folding it. So right now I have a giant X. So now I'm gonna make a giant plus sign the other way by folding now top to meet bottom and open it and side to meet side. So the basics is we're trying to fold this in every direction. So it's half, half, and half triangle, and half the other triangle, okay? When you have it correct, you should have one, two, three, four of these folds. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each of these corners and fold it to touch the middle. There we go. And it's important to try to keep it as neat as you can. Because if you accidentally, like if I went way too far over or way too far out, it's not gonna open right when I go to open it. All right, so now I have everything flipped into the middle. So now I'm going to flip the whole thing over and I'm gonna take these corners to the middle again. Pull to the corner. Pull to the corner, pull to the corner. There we go. Now, on this side, we have now these four boxes. On this side, we have these little triangles. On the side with the boxes, if I fold this way, then this way, it's gonna help it remember those folds. Now I'm gonna stick my fingers in these two holes. And if it's having trouble standing up, I push in with my fingers. Then the other side, I'm gonna stick in these two fingers. And I have a fortune teller. Now it's my choice how I decorate it. If I wanted to create something like this, a traditional fortune, on here, I could write the names of colors or numbers and on the inside here and here I'd write colors and numbers and when I open it on inside here is where I would write my fortunes. You will grow a tail on Monday. I hope not. So it's up to you how you decorate. If you wanted to make a puppet instead then you could add your face and your mouth on the inside. You can even change it so its mouth looks different when you open it up versus opening it sideways. Pretty fun. Hmm, what do I want to do with this one? Well, it's green. Maybe it's some sort of a lizard. Let's do it as a lizard. So whenever I'm gonna decorate air, I kind of plan what's gonna be somewhere and then I put it flat. So if I decide, well, I want this to be a lizard and I want the eyes to be here, then I'd remember right here, right here, and then I'd put it flat to make my eyes. 
So maybe I decide I want, I want a little highlight on my eyes. I'm gonna start with the highlight this time. Then I want my darkest color to make my eyes nice and wide. Be the pupils. Maybe I'll add a little color to my eyes. Maybe these are green eyes. Maybe since I want it to be lizardy, I'm gonna make them little slit-like eyes. Hmm, that could be cool. And maybe I'll add some scales for decoration. Cool. All right, let's open this up and see how it's going. Oh, cool. So now I have my eyes. So now I could create a mouth. I think right here, I'm gonna create a lizard tongue. So I want to remember it has to be here and here. So it's here and here. So I'm gonna create a long lizard tongue. Long lizard tongue. All right, let's check this and see if it's going how I think it's going. <gasps> yep, yeah. now I have a lizard tongue when I open. I like the noise it makes. It makes sense for the lizard. I think I'm gonna add some scales to the bottom. I think that'll add a little bit more detail. And I do love a good detailed artwork. All right. Oh, I can't wait to hear what characters you create. Are you gonna create people or animals or fictional characters like dragons? There's so many possibilities with this project. You can really do anything or Oh no, you might predict my fortune. I'm gonna be a fish. And, ooh, I'm gonna have to eat fish food, gross. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I can't wait to see what you make and thanks for joining me. Take care, bye.